we just passed the border of Ilocos Norte into Ilocos Sur and are headed towards the municipality of Bantay, which is found right at the entrance of Vigan City. Okay, everyone, so finally, uh, the administration of Bantai Church allowed me to, uh, allowed me, B.Y. and George, to enter the church and view the bell tower. I think um, maybe it's best to first um, look at the bell tower before it gets too dark so that um, you can see it uh, with much better light. Uh, it's already 4.30 in the afternoon, so I'm scared by the time I get out of the church, it might be too dark already. So let me show you the bell tower first. Okay, so this is Bantai Church, and the bell tower sits way, way, way up here. Good afternoon po. Ako po yun na uh, kausap ni Janice. Apo. Gagawa ko lang ng video. <laughs> so there you go. See? Oo nga po eh. Galing kami paway eh. Okay. Bantai Bell Tower was built in 1591. It was known as the favorite date spot of Jago and Gabriela Silang in the 17th century. It served as a town's watchtower before being turned into a bell tower by nearby Bantai Church in 1857. This was also the location for the Filipino classic movie, Ang Panday. Bantay Bell Tower is situated on a hill and has been looking over Bantay and Vigan for centuries, including during World War II. This belfry even served as a watchtower against pirates during the Spanish colonial era, and it gave the locality its name because Bantay means guard in English. After visiting Bantai Bell Tower, we next look at Bantai Church. Oh, 
Jesus, Son of God, Son of Man, I call you Savior with nail scarred hands. You will be my son in the morning light, bringing redemption to my dark night. Beautiful surrender. Bantay Church is canonically known as the St. Augustine Parish Church in Bantay, Ilocos Sur. It is also known as the Shrine of Our Lady of Charity because it houses the miraculous image of Virgin Mary as Our Lady of Charity, crowned as Patroness of Ilocantia on January 12, 1956. The church was heavily damaged in World War II and rebuilding started in 1950. The restored facade is of neo-Gothic design mixed with pseudo-Romanesque elements. It uses such materials as bricks and mud. Ano, ano siya? Nabumba po nung, ano sir, World War II. Mm. Ipokros to, pero ginawa na lang na parang pinaganda na. <laughs> Ah. Kaya, Chapel of the Ruby. Okay. So, by the way, churches are generally shaped as a, like a cross, particularly Catholic churches. So as you approach the sanctuary, uh, there are spaces to the left and to the right. But Jenny told me that this area was actually bombed during World War II. And so now they turned it into a chapel. They call it Chapel by the Ruins. And as you can see, there's no roof. Right? So it's an open air chapel. Here's the altar. Okay. And yeah, you're surrounded by the room. And then that's over there. That's the main church. Behind the altar is the miraculous image of Our Lady of Charity of Bantay. It is said to be the first image of Our Lady in Ilocandia. According to local history, the image was found inside a wooden box floating in the Bantoy River in Ilocosur. Numerous miracles were attributed through her intercession since the enthronement of Our Lady in Bantay. The Feast of the Coronation of Our Lady of Charity is every January 12th. So let me just spend a few minutes here in silence and thank God for such a wonderful blessing that he has given me, George, and BY. And uh, this brings us close to the end of our uh, journey. It's been a very interesting journey and a very fun journey. You know, George and BY are two of my most trusted friends when it comes to riding. They're very responsible riders. So, um, so we still have some more sights to see tomorrow. Um, Particularly, I'll take you to uh, Sikia Mansion, which is owned by a certain branch of uh, relatives in my family tree. George and I visited the Sikia Mansion early the next day. Thank mm -hmm. you.
The Sikia Mansion is a wonderful example of Bahay Nabato architecture during the later Spanish colonial era. It was built in 1830 by the Anko family and was given as a dowry by Justo Anko on his daughter Estefania's marriage to Gregorio Siquia in 1875. At present, the Siquia Mansion operates as a museum. The Philippine government recognized the heritage home as one of the oldest Bahay na Bato in the city of Vigan. Okay, so let's enter now. Good morning! Mabuhay po. Yes po, and uh, I'm Albert Po, your uh, local tour guide. Uh, not only here in Siki Mansion, but uh, in the city of uh, Vigan, or the heritage city of Vigan po. And this is uh, Sir Dustin. Yes po, kayo uh, nga isa sa mga nanaga, or sa pagprotekta po ng uh, Heritage House, katulad lang itong uh, napakagandang mansion po, which is the Sikia Mansion that was actually built in 1830s. Albert first showed us the Escalera Principal, or main staircase, which is considered one of the grandest parts of the mansion. He also explained that at that time, there were no cement, hollow blocks, steel bars, and even blueprints, and that the mansion was built using a craftsman's expert eye and traditional building materials found around the area, like red bricks. The materials that they are using before is sugarcane juice, limestones, egg whites, mortar, and animal skins as their cement. We then made our way up the second floor, which is where the main living area is found. So this one is one of the... Spolarium? Uh, yes. And but next, sir, this is the Spolarium. Mm -hmm. But this one is original work done by Pedro Respal. So who is Respal? So Respal or Pedro Respal is the understudy of Juan Luna. Ah. Albert showed us some interesting peculiarities of the mansion, like a curious hole on the floor that was used by the then head servant to check on visitors on the ground floor. A peephole for the owner to see how well dressed the guests were, and a hidden hallway for servants. There's another part of the mansion that is actually used only by the maids or katulo or alipin. Ate po din mas alipin sa gigilid. So we have here the blind gallery or galleria pulada. So the galleria pulada is used only by the maids in order for them to not pass through the sala or the formal receiving area. So they are not allowed to pass through that area po. He also showed me my very first ancestor in the Philippines and explained the origin of my family name. Well, this is uh, the Sikia, or he is the uh, Sikia. At the age of 12 years old, uh, he left uh, Shaolin in China. Po. So together with his cousin, uh, Si Ting, uh, he continued his education here in the Philippines. So in order for him to Mary Petronilia Simpson Incarnation, he must baptize it of a uh, Christian. So, in June 11, 1852, uh, he was baptized from Sikia into Vicente Roberto Romero Sikia. This one, Vicente Roberto Romero Sikia. So, they were married on June uh, 9, 1853, in Vigan Cathedral, where they have, uh, they have also a wedding dowry of 5,000 pesos. So, uh, Vicente Roberto Romero Siquilla, very petrolial uh, Simpson and Carlson, they have a child named Don Gregorio Siquilla. This is also the wedding uh, portrait of uh, former president or the sixth president of the Republic of the Philippines, uh, Sir uh, 
Pedro Rivera Grino po. Uh, he was actually born here in Gigan City, November 16, 1890. So, this is Doña, uh, Doña Alicia Sikia, the granddaughter of Doña Estefania Anto and Don Gregorio Sikia. After seeing the rest of the Sikia mansion, George and I returned to our hotel to prepare our motorbikes for the final leg of our journey. It's time for the three of us to part ways. George left first because he will be traveling further to the northernmost tip of the Philippines. While BY and I will be making our way back to Manila in time for Christmas.